tayo magta-trek papunta sa Pochinas Point. Hooray! I finally reached the top. So beautiful. And you can also see yung kung bakit siya tinatawag na Five Fingers. Pasok tayo sa loob ng kuweba na ito. Kailangan natin paunahin yung mga kung sa swim kasi sa paloob sa cave, narrow pa na siya. So, wala masyadong space. Kinanlakan ko. Dito tayo mag-clip jumping. It is not a joke. <laughs> I am brave. We can do this. Oh! 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 Ang fun dito sa Bataan. After nature tripping and cove hopping, ngayon naman, we will revisit history and pump our adrenaline up with extreme activities. Excited na ba kayo sa ating adventure? Tara, let's! Before we get to our island destination, we have to first get to the Oak Beach and from there, we're gonna take a boat for 20 minutes bago tayo makarating doon. Playa La Caleta is a wonderful destination for anyone who wants to escape the chaos of the metro. It is a cove located in Morong, Bataan. Besides being a resort, marami ring activities sa pwedeng gawin dito. Are you guys excited to explore? Tara, let's! Hi! Hi, good morning! <laughs> Hello! Um, so, for my day trip, I want to know what activities I can try out dito yeah. sa Playa La Caleta. Well, first of all, welcome to Playa La Caleta. I know it's your first time and uh, we're very excited to have you here. Uh, Playa La Caleta is an ecotourism resort, so we specialize in water sports and outdoor sports. Today, I think uh, there are three things that I'd like to recommend to you to try. Uh, the first would be uh, windsurfing, and then after that, we could have our boodle fight by the river stream, which is the river that comes from our waterfalls here. And then for the last bit, I think we can do the hiking trails, going to the water dam and to the waterfalls. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see that. Full, yes. full, full afternoon. <laughs> Okay, mukha magkakaroon ako ng fun-filled afternoon dahil sa dami ng activities sa pwedeng gawin dito sa yes. Playa La Caleta. <laughs> Bago ang lahat, may I know how much the packages <laughs> yeah. are. <laughs> okay, uh, for windsurfing, we only charge 350 pesos per hour. But if you want to take lessons, that's 500 pesos per hour. And then, uh, for the Buddha fight, actually you have to book in advance in our office and we can set it up for you. Okay. Uh, usually, people do that for special events. Um, and then, for the hiking trail, it's just 200 pesos per hour. And then if you need a guide, uh, it's 300 pesos per guide. Kailan. But first, Andy, oh. you need to fill up our waiver and our folio form. Ayan, nasulatan ko na ang form at ang waiver. Ngayon naman, excited na akong subukan ang ating mga activities. Tara, let's! So, I'm ready to learn how to wind surf. For, okay. But first of all, can you lead me, for, walk me first through the basics? Okay. Wind surfing is uh, basically a combination of sailing and uh, surfing. So it uh, uses the wind as its main power and then the board has a fin to help you go guide through the water. Okay, so now I'm going to Mr. Migs to mag kung paano yung mga basics and mga dapat kung tandaan para magawa ko siya ng tama. Basically, the first step is to know where is the wind coming from. So, ang hangin ngayon ay habagat. So, ibig sabihin, ang hangin ay nanggagaling sa dagat. So, onshore siya. Papasok siya sa atin. Okay. So, the first step is to put your uh, board on the right direction. 
So we want to go here since the wind is coming here. You go to the center of the board. You hold the up call line. You, you step in the middle here. Uh, don't use your back, but more use your legs. So you hold the up call line and then you bring it up like this. Once you're up, just stay in the center. This is now called the neutral position. First thing you do, your right hand cross over to the left side of the boom and then close it and then hold it like that. Uh, here, your feet, try to make a shape the letter L like this. This will help you in surfing, it's like in surfing, no? so this will help you guide. This one just keep your balance. So, ngayon, ganyan na. When you're in this position, you're gonna ready move na. Okay. Now, how do you go left and right? So, may tinatawag tayo na backward. When you do this, backward, your board, excuse me, and sorry, will go like that. Sorry? Your board will go like this, oh, to the okay. right. When you go forward, you will go here, like this, to the other side, like that. So that's how you control your direction. You want to go left, you want to go right. I'm so panic na ako kasi parang medyo nakalimutan yun yung iba. So dadaan ko na lang to sa instinct, tsaka sa natural na pagiging athletic ng katawan ko. At syempre, habang nandun ako, titingin na lang ako sa kanya the whole time. Okay, tsaka, inalam ko lang yung pinaka-importante. When all else fails, stay in the neutral position. Woo! I can do this! Concentrating hard. Focus. Not easy. It's such a workout, but the, the 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 thing about it is that it's actually so much fun. Oh Ang daming ah, uh, parang by looking at it, by watching it, parang you think that it's so easy. Pero it's not palang kasi mabigat siya, di ba? So parang it uses actually your parang the strength of your whole body from your legs and to your arms, and it also requires for you to to sink. So parang ano siya? Gusto ko siyang gawin at gusto gusto ko siyang i-practice sa i-practice para talagang maintindihan ko. Dahil feeling ko, kapag ka nagawa ko siya ng tama, sobrang sarap ng pakiramdam dahil nakaka-challenge siya. So, I'm gonna do it again. Para let's! Surfing is a sport that I never really thought na parang of actually trying. Pero because I did, I realized it's actually so much fun. And now maybe like when I go travel to the beach with my family, I, it's something na parang I wanna look at more and look into more. And I want to be able to keep practicing and trying it again because it was really fun. At syempre, dahil nakagawa na naman ako ng activity na sobrang kakapagod, pero at the same time masaya, ano bang masarap gawin pagkatapos? Kumain! It's lunchtime! Tara, let's! This is such a perfect setup for eating lunch. Especially with your friends. So it's so windy, but then at the same time the sun is out. My feet is just like perfectly dipped onto the river. Tapos yung setup, di ba? It's so perfect. Oh, cute! 
Doon tayo kakain, no? Tapos parang nakababa din paan natin sa river. Alam niyo naman, di ba, masarap talaga kumain, lalo na pag nasa beach ka, boodle fight na nga. Tapos yung ano, yung scenery, di ba? It completes it. Wow! Oh, masarap. I'm so excited. Ayan, so, after ng ating windsurfing, ngayon naman, kakain na tayo. My favorite part. We have a boodle fight set up right here and it looks so good. My adobo, my fruits, my seafood, my veggies, completed everything. Oh, kaya ngayon kakain muna ako ah. Sige, pupuesto na ako dito ah. Wait lang daw, parang hindi ko naman to kayang ubusin lahat. Ah, uh, kaya tara let's team. Come on, join me. <laughs> This is such a perfect setup for eating lunch, especially with your friends. So it's so windy, but then at the same time the sun is out. My feet is just like perfectly dipped onto the river. Tapos yung setup, di ba? So perfect. Tapos ano, may place pa enough to cover us na hindi kami magkakasunburn habang nagpapakabusog kami. Sobrang solve the solve talaga ako sa lunch natin today. And ngayon, kayo, nag-enjoy ba kayo? Super! Yes. Sarap, sarap! <laughs> ngayon naman, ready na kami to go hiking to the waterfalls. Tara, let's! Ngayon, tapos na tayong kumain. Ngayon naman, we're gonna start with our hiking. Para sa hike natin papunta sa waterfalls, kasama natin si Kuya Esteban. Kuya, gano'n po katagal ang hike papunta sa waterfalls? Uh, mga more or less, mga, mga 60 minutes. One hour, okay. So, para sa mga pupunta doon, um, importante po ba na parang meron kang proper shoes? Mahirap po ba yung trail? Pa taas po ba siya ng bundo? Uh, hindi naman po kataasan, ma'am. Banayad lang po. Okay, so kaya naman. Kaya. Anong mga madadaan natin? Maraming ating pools doon ay tatlo po. Uh, siguro ngayon kaya medyo taginit, medyo mahina po yung, anong, yung tagas, tagas ng tubig po. Okay, let's now begin. Tara, let's! Nandito na tayo sa loob ng gubat. Trekking to the waterfalls. Um, napansin ko, compared to the other checks that we've done dito sa Taralets, ito, it's fairly easy. Tsaka kaya swerte na wala kasi akong dalang rubber shoe slippers lang. Okay lang siya kasi yung trail is mas patag. Talagang inayos talaga siya na parang malakad mo siya properly going there. But there are also bike trails. Napansin ko rin dito sa trail na to, parang it's not just about just really walking directly to your destination. You can also enjoy what you see around you. Like yung kanina, sobrang picturesque yung lahat ng nakikita mo kulay brown lang kasi pati yung mga dahon is parang it's all dry. And then this one, it's very unique set of trees. I don't know what they're called. Ang, anong klaseng? Ah, uh, yung mga kahoy po. Ito po, anong klase? Ah, ito yung mga bambu na gumagapang bambu na bambu. Ay, bambu pala yan. Bambu gumagapang po yan. Oh, mga, oh. Parang mga ano yan. Para tayong uh, ano, para tayong wala sa, para tayong sa China. Bigla may lalabas siya na kung po panda. Siya rin. This is supposed to be the end point of the river. Dito yung waterfalls. Kaso nga lang, because it's the peak of the summer, I guess it's understandable that it's a bit dry. So, konti-konti lang yung nakikita natin na ano no. Mga anong panahon po usually na mas lumalakas yung tagas niya pag tagaulan po? Pag medyo uh, maulan. Mm, pag maulan. Pag maulan. Gusto ko lang ibahagi sa inyo na hindi lang dahil summer. Kaya walang tubig na lumalabas sa waterfalls ngayon. Lumalabas tayo araw-araw, nag -e enjoy tayo sa beach. Ina-enjoy natin yung nature, kung ano yung ino-offer sa atin ang ating environment. 
isa na rin dito yung nagiging pabaya tayo sa mga kalat natin, mga basura, lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi nabubulok, those that are made of plastic, especially styrofoam, that really ruins our ecosystem. Hindi natin namamalayan na ang mga ginagawa natin na nakakasama para sa planetang ito, tayo rin ang mga pinakamaaapektuhan sa bandang huli. Kaya dapat, bago mahuli ang lahat, matuto na tayo magtulong-tulong para alagaan at matutong maging aware sa kung paano natin hindi tuluyang masisira ang kalikasan. Siyempre, dahil nandito na rin tayo ngayon, ako, ina-enjoy ko pa rin kung anong nakikita ko. Look at that! Mukha siyang ano, ginawa lang ng isang artist, ng isang tao, pero hindi. This is something that's natural. This is something that... This is one simple example of the beauty that nature has to offer us. So let, we shouldn't waste it, right? Sobrang na-enjoy ko talaga yung trek papunta dito. At the same time, masaya din ako kasi it was such good exercise while I was also trying to stay fit on my way here, di ba? Ang ganda rin ng mga nakikita kong view, mga iba-ibang puno, mga marami akong mga natutunan rin dahil sa mga natagpuan ko. And getting here, most, most especially to the end point, that no matter what the condition, it still stays beautiful because anything that is offered to us by nature is always going to be beautiful. Kaya ngayon naman, babalik na tayo sa beachfront dahil hindi pa tapos ang ating mga activities dito sa Bataan. Kaya, tara let's! Man, para gawin ng ating stream activity. Kasama ko ngayon si Kuya Mark at siya ngayon ang magiging guide ko. Dahil ako ay magre-repelling all the way down there from that mountain, right? Sounds fun, right? Sounds extreme. But I'm so excited because I've never done this before. I've only done Australian rundown. Okay. So the other way around. And that was scary app. Bukang ito, mas may enjoy ko siya. Yes, of course. Okay, gano'n po kataas yan? Uh, ito ang tinatawag na Mount San Miguel. Mga 110 meters siya. Mga 35 story high na building ang katumbas niya. Paano pong, kung yung mga tao gusto nila subukan rin yung susubukan ko ngayon, paano po sila mahahanap? Okay, uh, kung gusto nyo matry yung rappelling, hanapin nyo lang kami sa Facebook, The Extreme Adventure the Zone. Extreme Adventure then, Zone. kontakin nyo na lang kami rin sa Facebook. For demo purposes, nag-install ako ng temporary rappelling line here. So, ang gagawin natin ay twist. So, your hand should be on your right hip. Then, your right hand is your control hand, meaning yung speed of descent mo nakasalalay sa right hand. Mabagal, hihinto ka, bibilis, na sa right hand nakakontrol. So, never let go of your right hand. Left hand for balance, para hindi ka bumaligtad. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple. Pero hawak mo rin ako, or sarili ko yung nagkakontrol? Sarili mo. Hindi yeah. ko ayaw ko eh. Pag sa akin nakasalala yan, so, tatanga-tanga ako. Eh. Okay, now we're all geared up. At natapos na rin ang ating orientation. Kaya ngayon, magsimula na tayo. Tara, let's! Lang. Hindi pala hang tight lang pala hang tight. Ito na yung start ng mas matarik. Five stories high. Kung baga kung building siya, 35 stories high. 
rose headshot. Okay. And my car is as small as an ant. What said Kuya Mark said? Sasabay na lang ako sa baba para hindi na scared. I don't want to do it. Takot kasi ako sa heights eh. Kapag ready na kami. We're all buckled up and I'm ready to go any moment. I'm so scared. Why am I doing this? Right hand, right hand. I don't want to be doing this. I'm scared. I'm so scared. It's so high. It's so high. But I'm here to support you also. I'm so scared. 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 Ito, hindi ko ay. Taong tubig ako eh. Hindi mo na ako ibon eh. Sda ako. I can't do it. Nasa niiyak na nga ako. Pero hindi nga ako makaiyak. Hindi nga ako makaiyak. Kahit sa sobrang kaba. confirm ko na talaga because of this activity that I really have a fear of heights. I don't want to do anything and I can't I, I don't there's no motivation for me to do anything such a like this like going down 35 as going down a mountain as tall as 35 story building. I'm really willing to do anything you know as long as it's fun I see people doing it they enjoy it and I want to try it too but I guess you know, extreme adventures are really dependent on the person. And being that I'm more of a water person, that I can assure you, I can show you the underworld. <laughs> Ang yung tour guide nyo, pagdating sa mga bagay na konektado sa tubig bear, pagdating sa air, medyo meron akong uh, restrictions. <laughs> Hindi ko po kaya. Hindi ko talaga kaya. But yun nga, who knows, diba? Eventually, maybe I will put in a situation where I can do it, but today, I can't. So, ngayon, bababa na tayo, katulad ng kung paano tayo tumaas, maybe, uh, sa, by trekking. So, gagawin ko na yun ngayon, bago pa lalong magdilim. Kaya, tara, let's. Hey, Mark, thank you so much for guiding me through this and introducing this sport to me. But I'm really sorry, I'm not yet ready. <laughs> Actually, for me, it's not really a failure. Parang, I was thinking, yun, I had enough time to think about what I was gonna do kanina. And the whole time that I was thinking about it, I never gave myself the option to back out. Until I was all buckled up and gonna go, I was gonna go down na. Doon ko naisip na, wait lang, hindi sapat yung motivation ko to be able to do this. I'm really scared and I just feel like it's okay that I don't force myself. It doesn't mean that just because I can't do it, you can't either. I'm sure that you guys can. I'm sure that you guys still should. And I still agree and still believe that this activity, this sport is such a such a fun and thrilling thing to do. Especially yun nga, for adventure seekers, diba? for thrill seekers. It's just that for me, personally, sa tubig muna tayo. Iwas-iwas muna tayo sa ere. Okay? Before we end our trip in Bataan, meron pa tayong last stop. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Lolengs, Huchuan, na Dinadaya daw talaga at binabalik-balikan dahil sa kanilang Vietnamese food. Tamang-tama, mahilig pa naman ako sa Vietnamese food. Kaya ngayon, tikman na natin yung mga pagkain nila. Tara, let's! Hello! Hello po! Hi, Miss Anne. Ako po si Alpine, ang, ang daughter po ni Aling Loling. Ah, okay. So, sakto. Kasama pala natin yung anak ni Aling Loling ngayon. Bakit po naisipan yung mag-serve ng Vietnamese food dito sa Bataan? Kasi po nung 90s, 
Meron po mga refugees na dumating po dito sa amin sa lugar namin dito sa Marong Bataan. Mga Vietnamese po, Laosian siya, Cambodian. Nagkaroon po ng kaibigan yung nanay ko na isang Vietnamese at tinuruan po siya na magluto ng mga Vietnamese food. Ah, okay. Hmm. Tapos sinayo nila to. Apo. Kaya po, mula noon po ng 90s, since 90s po, hanggang ngayon po nagsaserve po kami ng mga hudyo. Oh, since 90s pa, ka-age ko yung ano, karinderya, di ba? Okay, so excited na akong matikman ang inyong mga specialties. Mag-order ako ng isang huchu, syempre, tsaka banh mi and... Bunchay. Bunchagyo. <laughs> okay, hindi ko ma-pronounce. Pero pwede ko po malalaman, malaman kung mga magkakano yung mga yun. Yung huchu po, uh, 50 pesos lang po. At yung banh mi, 50 pesos po, good for two na po siya. At yung bunchayo po, 50 pesos lang din po. What? 50 pesos lahat? Busog ka na, di ba? So, every time nasa bataan ako, dapat nagaan na talaga ako dito. Ito na ang solusyon. Di ba? Uh, anyway, okay, sige po. Excited na ako matikman. Uupo lang ako sa aking lamesa. Thank you. Thank you po. Yay! Ito na po. Ito na. Looks so good. So, nasan po si... Ano, aling loleng, sino nagluto nito? Ako po lang ang chef po dito. Tinuran na po niya sa akin. Tinuran niya sa'yo lahat. Uh -huh. So ikaw lang nakakaalam ng mga recipe. Opo, gano? para ma-preserve din po. <laughs> Galing, so special. That's why it's so special. And it's so affordable, ah. Kaya medyo nakaka-curious talagang tikman lahat ito. Excited na ako. And sriracha is life. Anything with sriracha is a good idea. Perfect pa after mo magpagod at magrapeling, di ba? Kaya deserve ko to yung parang mainit na sabaw. Sa halagang 150 pesos, tatlong order, tatlo na ang order ko at talagang busog na busog na ako. Isa pa nga lang, busog na busog na ako dito eh. One thing I love most about Vietnamese food is that it's so rich in vegetables. Tsaka kaya naiintindihan ko kung bakit hindi kailangan mahal. Kasi lahat naman ng ingredients, nakahanap mo siya ng madali. Tapos lalo na gulay pa, di ba? Ang mga gulay is key talaga eh. Makakamura ka talaga pag gulay lang talaga kinakain mo. Solved na solved talaga ako sa affordable meals dito sa Lolengs Huchuan. Ito talaga ang tipo ng mga restaurant na babalik-balikan ko. Kaya kayo, pagpupunta rin kayo dito sa Bataan, don't forget to drop by Lolengs Huchuan. I'm gonna eat some more. Sana nag-enjoy din kayo sa ating Bataan Adventure. Thank you so much for experiencing this adventure with me. Because I'm here to prove to you that there are no excuses for discovery, for traveling, and in enjoying life. Kaya samahan nyo akong sulitin ang aking free time in and around the Philippines. Excited na ba kayo? Mag-empake na kayo ng very light. Tara, let's!